Tony and Nick's the cheesesteak shop formerly known as Tony Luke's. Um, this is a cheesesteak shop. Well, they do more than cheesesteaks. They have other options, but this cheesesteak spot has been here for years. I don't really go to Tony Luke's that much because my favorite cheesesteak spot, John Rose Pork, is right down the street. So if you're going to get one, I would get John Rose Pork. But I thought, you know, I'm going to try uh, Tony Luke's today. So that's what we're going to do. I got a cheesesteak, American cheese, fried onions. You can get a lot of other things besides uh, cheesesteaks at Tony and Nick's. You can get a breakfast sandwich. The cheesesteaks, which the cheesesteak starts at like $13. Uh, they have hoagies, chicken cutlet sandwiches, roast beef, roast pork, and meatball parms. You could even get soup. You can eat inside Tony Luke's, but I decided to eat right here in front of the ECW arena. Uh, fun fact, a lot of the wrestlers of the old ECW would go to Tony Luke's before or after their shows. So I figured let's it's always fun to talk about ECW. Alright, so this is what we're working with. Now Tony Luke's used to make their own bread. I'm not really sure if they do that now. Uh, but they just started doing a seeded roll. Chopped up onions. Now the bread's soft. I don't like how they have, like, the onions are just layered on the very top. They're not really mixed in with the steak. So, some parts, when you bite into it, you get a lot of onions. And then some part, there's no onion. And it seems like the onions are seasoned more than the steak. Yeah, it's, it, there's, it's like eating two different sandwiches. When you bite into the onions, it's really good. But then when you get to the bottom part where there's not many onions, it's kind of bland. Yeah. See, the, in my opinion, the best cheesesteak in Philadelphia is John's Roast Pork, which is one block in this direction. Tony Luke's is like one block in that direction. I'm going to tell you why I like John's Roast Pork. One, I like the way they mix in the meats and the cheeses. Uh, I like the bread at John's Roast Pork a little bit better. It's a little bit harder. I like a little bit. Of, I like I like my bread like I like my men. Uh, hard and thick, you know? Yeah, this is... This isn't that great. This is This is good. It's not bad. It's 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 fine. It's a fine cheesesteak. There are better cheesesteaks, there are worse cheesesteaks. It's better than Delisandros. Give that to the birds. I got all these rally towels in my glove box. I was getting ready to use them, but we actually have napkins in the car. Scale the one to ten, I give it. Give it a six and a half. Um, yeah, it's not. Yeah, that's it. I mean, that's it. That's it. It's if you're gonna go to South Philly, I mean, there's there's lots of places to go. I, I mean, it's not horrible. It's not horror. I mean, is that really a good review? It's not horrible. It's just I could have had the best, and I went there, and now. I regret my decision, and, uh, all right, well, you know, at least we, uh, you know, we, now we know. We don't go to Tony Luke's unless we're at the ballpark. Matter of fact, there are actually three cheesesteak spots in Citizens Bank Park. Uncle Charlie's, Campo's, and Tony Luke's. I usually go to Campo's. I just don't like, they, they really need to mix up the onions more. They really, they really messed up with that. You, you just give it a good mix. Don't just layer it on top. 
and you, you get that flavor all throughout but when you just have it, the onions in one layer it kind of ruins it so uh yeah that's my review of tony luke's or tony and nick's whatever it's called there's some legal reason why they had to change their name so uh all right well make sure you hit like and subscribe it sucks it's it sucks because I really could have had a really good cheesesteak and I had a, I had a decent cheesesteak. I could have had the best and I had I had an okay cheesesteak.